Welcome to another edition of Here's Why. My name is Jimmy Talbert. I'm joined with my friend Dom Fawcett, executive coach and leadership speaker and CEO of Think React Lead Thanks. Radio Show. Thank you, sir. Or, I appreciate not that. Not just radio We're show, good. but yeah, the whole We're, business. No, the whole the whole shebang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dom's working on getting this live on his as well. Boom. There we go. There we are. We are uh, shared. It's official. So today we're going to be talking about how to grow your business using podcasts and using video podcasts. Love it. Specifically, because yes. in my opinion, if you're talking into a mic, you yeah. might as well throw a camera in front of you I as well. I like it. Smart man. Right? Um, so we're going to be talking about why you should use it and, and I guess how both of us have, have uh, grown our separate businesses utilizing that. Uh, and then uh, additionally, what you can do to improve your video podcast and, and make it better. And, That's clutch. Right? A lot, what, let, let's, let's start from the top let's, and work our way down. <laughs> in that order. So, Dom, you've had, uh, you've done a podcast, you've got your radio show, everything. I guess, uh, talk me through just at a high level, some basic things that you've kind of learned, right? We're, yes. We're not talking real in-depth in strategy. Right, yeah. Just high Crazy level, high, and we'll get, we'll get into more in-depth stuff later on. Specific to video, right? Uh, a couple of things you want to do is you brought up the point. If you're going to talk into the mic, you might as well video re record yourself, not focusing on on the perfection of yeah. it, right? Uh, get the content. I think you and I talk about that a, a lot. Get the content. Worry about what you're going to do with it later on. And it's uh, I, I think that the most recent key element that I've learned is multiple angles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how many times have you upgraded your cell phone? Don't don't give them away. If, if that's what you have, use two or three different cell phones to get a different angles. Again, worry about where you're going to get them edited later. It's important. <laughs> it, get, getting editing is easy, right? It's cake. I mean, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't take a ton. And there's a lot of people who do it. Um, yeah, if, if it's something that you need need help with. Yeah, let us know. We're happy to, we're happy guys, to help. We you got, got a lot you guys kind of edits. edit. Yeah. You guys do your thing. Uh. I figured as much. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so let's let's get into it. So, I guess the first thing that we want to address is why you should use a, a podcast or video podcast specifically. Um, and and I know how we use it and how we recommend it's used throughout different sales and marketing mm -hmm. funnels with our clients. Um, I, I guess how, where are all the different places that you use? And, and we'll talk about how to chop it up and how to get a whole lot of content right. later. But because um, that's stuff you do as well, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I guess where where do you use it in your? In so your I, I I use it in. So for those, can you explain to them what a sales funnel is? Because yeah, some people yeah, might actually. not know what a sales funnel is. Yeah. So on, on the image that we have behind us, let's go ahead and go full screen for a second with that. So it starts. It, what we're looking at here is a diagram of uh, what we call life cycle marketing. It essentially encompasses your uh, entire prospect and customer mm -hmm. journey. And so starting with getting traffic, getting awareness, getting people to look at you, and then getting leads, nurturing your prospects, converting clients, delivering and wowing and really impressing them, and then being able to upsell, cross-sell, get more referrals and reviews. Um, is that a Right, so now, now that they know what a sales funnel is, because four years ago when somebody said sales funnel to me, I only thought, I thought funnel cake. Right, I was not, I was like, what is a sales funnel? Even though in the corporate space we were doing it, but specific to the videos that I do or, or from the radio show, I will put them on YouTube. I will have them sometimes in a blog. I will put them Instagram story. I will put them on my front face of Instagram, my Facebook. I will try to go live many different places at the exact same time. And then saving that content, uh, now you turning it into, say, a TV show, right? You got your Roku. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Amazon has things that you, us as entrepreneurs can use to leverage our content. Then there's the audio aspect of it, right? And, and the list goes, I mean, you've shown that the list goes on and on and on, but that's how I use mine. How do you guys use, use yours? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it, I, I guess uh, we go through an example yeah. here. So uh, we did a, a, a season actually on life cycle marketing. So a full season, you'd always refer to our YouTube if you wanted to take a look at that. And yeah, as we go through this, if you have any advice, I'd love to hear it as well. Uh, so what we did, let's, let's go ahead and pull up the, the, the different episodes. So we did a season with nine episodes, right? So nine mm -hmm. episodes in, the, in this specific season, all pertaining to lifecycle marketing. You can see the different thumbnails right there. 
And with each of those, then, so if we look at just the first one, uh, we were able to do, I think, what you just described. Right. So you, you said that you're able to use it through all these different, uh, different parts of your, of, of your, of your funnel because you were able to chop it up. So let's look at episode one being chopped up and how that, how that was done. So it's a lot of places. <laughs> it sure is. It's so we, we distributed it out across all the different social media channels, obviously. But then when you chop it up, you see the small thumbnails there. Right. right? That's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Just to give a visual for exactly what you, what you said. Um, and then you can create a blog with it as well because you get the transcript. And then you can use all these different segments for lead captures, for nurturing, right? Correct. Throughout your sales and marketing funnel. Build credibility to build additional value after Correct. someone buys. All these different things depending on the topic. Um, and when you look at a full season, it's, it's, a, it's a ton. Now, this is if you were to create a whole bunch in one day, right? Because you often hear from businesses and stuff that they don't want to, they don't want to be, uh, they, they don't want to always be creating content, right? Um, so it, 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 I would say I, I like creating content and a lot of, but there's the not wanting to create content. And then the, in, in my opinion, I think the type of content that people create. Um, when it comes to podcasts, and this is something I've learned in radio, one, there's too much dead air when yeah. pe people speak, and then they don't, they don't re-engage the purpose of, of them talking. Like, for example, I would say, uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm Dom Fawcett with Jimmy Talbert. We're here in the studio, Why Not Results? And we're talking about video podcasts, and we just got finished covering A, B, and C. Uh, but moving forward, and I think a lot of times when people create these podcasts, They'll intro in the beginning and they intro in the end, but they forget to mention who they are in the middle. Yeah. Which you could be, you might tune into somebody's podcast and because you're caught off guard, you got, we got kids and you're engaged with something else, not paying attention, you lose yeah, interest yeah. in what's being said. And especially when you're doing it uh, on your own, solo, mm -hmm. right? I, those, those types of videos, those types of podcasts, everything are more difficult. Um, which is why I bring in talented, knowledgeable people like uh, Mr. Dom Fawcett. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> um, it is because to kill some of that dead air time um, and to have someone to lean on for ideas. and it's, it, I, I would say it's important. Uh, one of the things I suggest to people is when you are doing a podcast, you don't have to worry about interviewing people. Like for the first 20 episodes, uh, it's, it's, I think it's fun to have somebody uh, like a co-host, like a, a co-chair, a co because we have, I mean, we obviously, we have two different pers personalities. And having two different personalities from a video perspective is more engaging for the audience. And I have, I never really know what you're gonna say, and you never really know what I'm gonna say, but it just works out. Uh, now, I don't think everybody has this with somebody that they, you know, that they partner with, but it's, um, it's definitely, it, it's easier for your audience to listen to. Yeah, I, I, I agree, and I, I've told you this story before, but when I uh, initially went and started doing, doing webinars and stuff, I, just to get through the <laughs> webinar, through the content, and I knew the content inside now, right. I had to have someone else uh, in the room, first of all, I, to, to speak, and then right. someone else managing the chat. Correct. Right? Um, and even then, it was, I mean, I was physically exhausted. Oh, where's your house? Yeah. 25 minute webinar. Exactly. Um, by the end, because I did so many, I was doing five to seven a week uh, there. And by, by the end of that time, I could do everything. It was just me. I, One minute I was operation. managing the yep. chat. I was doing everything because you're just more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. it, it at that point. You're not well. sweating anymore. You're not stammering or I mean, stuttering. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a heavy guy, so I was still sweating a little bit. <laughs> you're but. not that big, bro. We're like the same size on camera, so you, you're good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think having two people there, especially when you're getting started, mm -hmm. is the way to go. I would, okay. Not so much interview style. No, again, more like that, this. That's just my yeah. opinion. Um, doesn't mean it's right. I, well, the, I, problem, the, the, the problem with people that start podcasts with interviewing people, one, they don't know how to interview. That's true. Yeah. And then what ends up happening, and this happened to me on two, two radio shows back, where the person takes over the interview. Okay. And then the, the, the owner of the podcast never brands themselves. 
And in the beginning, when you're doing video, like you just said, you did a lot of videos it, and you became your one man show. Yeah. I think in the beginning, learning to do as much as you can on your own so you know what right looks like. Even if, like I hire your company, why not results? And I've never done this before. And you guys cut up everything that I have and send it out to all the places. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens if I don't have the budget to do that anymore? Yeah. Now, I'm, I built a brand and now it falls flat on his face, as opposed to working with you. And then you, because you guys have shown plenty of people how to do certain things, but showing, hey, in the event, here's the content, we're going to cut it up, but you can also do it this way. Most people don't do it because they're just lazy. Right, yeah, most people don't, which is why, why we're in business. <laughs> why, <laughs> this is why most people are in business, because people are, in general are just lazy. Um, but you've, you've gone about it the other way before, mm -hmm. you personally. Yeah. Um, talk about that path and, and I guess what's involved in doing it that way, uh, doing it all on your own and, or getting it done in different places as far as the editing, the distribution, the, mm -hmm. the strategy, right? Because yeah. that's a lot to take on when you're also trying to run a business. So as a, as, a, as a solopreneur, as many people would refer to that as, I don't, I don't, I don't have employees. Mm -hmm. For me, learning how to m manage the operations is important. So when I hire somebody to do it, I know what right looks like. For example, I've hired videographers before and I've hired editors before. When I first started, I would get garbage back compared to what I know now. Right. Now when I hire somebody, I know what to tell them. And I don't know why I'm yelling at you and getting That's all okay. militant. Yeah, but, no, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm not afraid of work, so I like learning the ins and outs of business. But if you have four or five employees plus, and that's not something you're not creative, and you got the coin, I would definitely suggest hire. But but if you're gonna do it yourself, you need to have that process defined. At least understand what the process should be, and then define it so that it's easier to do. Right. So it's actually um, I, something that's scalable. I, I don't, or am I, I misinterpreting? I that? think entrepreneurs, when they first start off, they, they focus too much on the process and they don't, they don't focus one step at a time. Version Just, one is better than version none. 100% of the time. Boom. Right? I like that. But if you do, if you were like me and then you get tired of, of doing it, I had hair when I first started, stressed me out. So then I came to these guys. So <laughs> you can all. Found the hairiest podcast right now. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, learning to hire somebody to to do it even better. Cause I can only do so much on my own. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which is, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean you guys have seen my videos, right? I mean, yeah. none of them look like this. <laughs> you may make, make great content though. You make it consistently and, and a lot. What one thing I admire is just how much content you actually create, uh, especially being a, sort of a, a, a very small business. I mean, no, no, most, no, no, bro, you can say it. Size. I'm a very small, yeah, I, yeah, I'm a, I'm, it's, I'm it's, a self-employed dude. Yeah, that's it. An assistant. Uh, VAs, a couple of VAs. Oh, yeah, yeah. So a VAs, VAs. I mean, it, it's, it's, so the amount of content that you're able to get public right. with that is, is impressive um, for, yeah, but compared for, to other businesses that true. size. But, but, but look how much, how much content you guys distribute oh, with yeah. the click of a button. Sure, yeah, it, it, it de definitely with the tools that we have available, it makes mm -hmm. it a lot easier for a business to get a ton of content. Right. Out. Again, that's why we're in business. That is why you're in business. I love lazy <laughs> people. So if someone's saying, all right, I'm going to start my podcast, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going to work. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. you know, what, what exactly my message would be. What would be that's some... Good question. What, what would be some, some things, bullet points that people should think about that you'd recommend? First, just go to your social media page. Go to Facebook. Go to Instagram. Ask your audience. And just put it, just do a regular post. I'm gonna start a podcast, what topics should I talk about? My first 12 months in radio, as I'm driving to the radio station, I would put on my Facebook page, headed to the radio station, what should I talk about? <laughs> I don't prep. But, I, and then I would talk about that, that mm -hmm. subject. But if we can go from either just using your cell phone yeah. and learning, just doing a 10 minute podcast, just so you can hear what you're knowledgeable on, Sure. Because oftentimes we have all these thoughts in our head, but then we go to implement them. Guess what? It doesn't, it doesn't sound as cool. It doesn't work. Right. Yeah. I've when, had that happen plenty of times. The first time we got on, we, we did this. It was a, yeah, it, well, it was a doozy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I, I think with that too, the first video that we recorded, I was interviewing you 
right? To find yeah. out more about you. And like you said, I'm not good at interviewing. That's not something I've got a whole lot of experience with. You don't need to. You yeah. know? Given your skill set, given your business, I'm <laughs> going to throw that out there. It's Everything okay. else, yeah, not something. But that was the format that we had decided that I thought would go really well. <laughs> In your head. I was wrong. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it tur turns out I'm not a journalist. <laughs> I, <laughs> at, at I'm all. not good at that stuff. No. Um, more casual does work better here, um, as you can you're see. You're more the tech, the, the, the tech guy. But you're, you, you, I think, not I think, we've worked together for what, three, four months now? Yeah, around there. Yeah, you, I mean, just, just doing it, you've gotten better. Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Uh, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> if not, I'm not sure what we're doing here. But, well, they'll no, tell yeah, us. I, I, I think it has definitely gotten better. Um, okay, so coming up with topics, stuff like that. Uh, I, I, you hear this all the time, so do I, and you're, you're definitely an expert on it, but people being nervous on camera, being nervous about uh, getting on and, and recording and then putting that out there to the world. People are nervous, to be, uh, they're nervous about being judged, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, you, you look the way you look, you sound the way you sound. People, are, people will say things, well, I don't like, you know, this extra chin. I don't, I, don't, I don't like my size. Well, you like popcorn and ice cream, so, like, you didn't gain that overnight. You're not going to lose it overnight. Like, the way you look on camera, that's what the person sees. That's what the clerk sees at the grocery store. It's what your husband and, and your, or, or your wife sees. So just, I would say, own who you are. Okay. Um, know that your message is going to be good. Mm -hmm. And deliver it. And don't just record it and not post it. Because how often, oh, man. I, how, you guys have done a lot of video for a lot of people. And you create all this stuff for people. How many times have you seen them not post it? More than I'd like to, right. it's like to sad. admit. Um, it, it, or stop recording because they don't like how they <laughs> In studio, yeah. they stop. I've uh, seen and, that before. Hey, you know, I, look, I, at the end of the day, I like ice cream more than I like looking great. <laughs> I and, don't and need that, ads. I like sticky bugs. I, I've decided already. Right, exactly. I'm choosing ice cream. Um, but that, that's something that you... I'm okay you with that. Like, right, right, exactly. I, I've told you before, there was a time where I was, uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence in my voice and how okay. that came across. Um, I did some things, but they took time to make some changes there. But did your voice really change or did I you don't just think comfortable it did. with who I you are? I don't think it did, yeah. Right. I, I, and I think that what it was as well was me being uncomfortable was making it more monotone because I, I was going through things. Right. Probably, you know. And then when I was able to be myself, I, I could talk with a little bit a uh, little bit more in fluctuation in my voice and things like that. You know, so. when I first started radio, I, I, as I hear you say this, I struggled with apparently imposter syndrome because I, <laughs> I wanted my radio show, I wanted it to sound like this. Like, I don't know why. Like I wanted my radio. Like you're the show. Allstate guy. Yeah. I don't. Was that, no. Was no. That? More of like a like a Chuck Norris meets uh, <laughs> meets uh, maybe David Goggins. Yeah. You, you still Welcome. didn't sound like that with your impression. No, I didn't. That no, wasn't what? that. I sound like Allstate guy. I felt like it was closer to Allstate. Oh, so that, anyways. Yeah. I know which Allstate. I thought you meant Jake, but that's it's, State Farm. No, that's State Farm. <laughs> okay, Allstate guy. Yeah, not Jake. It, we, we digress. Obviously, yeah. we didn't take our Adderall this morning. But um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> there was a pause in your laugh. Like, we could take that back. We can't. No, this we can't. Yeah, we're going live. So. All right, so let's get back to the point. We're talking about... You're, you know, the uh, marketing, we're talking about um, distribution of the content. And let me ask, what are the benefits of this? There's obvious benefits, but how does somebody monetize distribution of content? Well, it depends on what you're selling. <clears throat> right? Okay. So, I, I, again, when we talked about the different aspects of a, your prospect and customer journey or your customer life cycle right. or your sales funnel, it's all the same thing, mm -hmm. right? The different aspects. Well, when you look at that and you look at, okay, there's going to be digital ways of means of following up with these people and connecting with them on social media. And I mean, there's so many different things that you need to do. Right. Then the question is, well, how do you create all this content? Right. Video podcasting is the easiest way to do that. I think it is as well. Um, to create a ton of content, as long as it's applicable to your market and at least identifies or introduces your uh, products and your offerings and your services or whatever you sell. But it's going to be applicable. Whenever, just because you're doing a video podcast or a podcast in general or a radio show doesn't mean that you have to offer services on every, every one. Like, I've, how many times have you, I've seen it at once. Somebody, every time they're on video, they're selling something. It, and that gets old. Yeah, it's a turn That gets off, old, yeah. Right? This ain't the 80s, but. Th that's why I say make it applicable <clears throat> or interesting, mm -hmm. right? So you, you ask yourself things like, all right, so what are 
three things that that make you happy. Well, or three pain points that that there it is. It could could be solved by what you offer, and you don't have to ever connect the dots, right? The the, the whole point is to, to your product is what I'm saying. Right. You can just talk about those pain points and how to overcome, right? There's a whole bunch of things that may have nothing to do. Like we, we, we've done a lot of podcasts and, and, and videos, you and I, on how someone can start and get into video. Correct. Right? And we're not talking about them coming into the studio, which is what one of the things that I sell. Correct. Right? We're talking about uh, using better. their phones. Right. And, doing, and strategies on public speaking and mm -hmm. on your presence on camera and on all these other things. Why? Because that's interesting people too. Want to be, they do want to be educated. That's and right. If you can educate your audience, you become the subject matter expert in your space. Uh, you don't have to state. What, what somebody told me the other day: uh, if you're not selling, if, if you're not selling, you're telling. So don't don't forget to sell. And I think that's where a lot of people yeah. make mistakes in their videos. They don't they don't sell. But write down your top 15 client pain points and your your videos. One pain point each video. There's definitely a balance there. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I agree. I agree. Um, well, any I guess last pieces of advice or final final words that you'd like to to get in there? Yeah. Start. <laughs> yeah. Get started. Just start. that. That is the best advice that you can. People you, struggle with that. Yeah. Again, version <laughs> one is always better than version, version none. I like that. I and might have to. Use most that. businesses just run with version none. And uh, that's why they're not in they, business. They just have ideas. So. Thank you so much for joining today, whether you're on Facebook Live or maybe you're watching this on, uh, on, on YouTube. We appreciate it. And make sure to like and subscribe and share where you can. So There it is. You guys have a fantastic day. Signing yeah. off.